Hi guys, how are you doing? Today is a video on the Lamborghini Urus, but we've just been called by some friends with a little bit of a surprise. We got a Pepper Mante joining us today, and as if that was not good enough, we've just got another call from another friend with two other Pepper Mantes. So today's a video with a Lamborghini Urus and three performantes anyways let's recap quickly and give you a bit more info on the lamborghini urus from when we were driving back here so rewind about 10 minutes in time Whoa! that sounds so good what a beast the fact that a 4x4 sounds like that and it accelerates like this the dash right now, we're in Corsa mode. It's very SV-like, especially this one with the Alcantara steering wheel right there. And then when you look down the center here, you can see this all new design sort of multimedia thing. We haven't really figured it out because Rana hasn't had this very long, just over a week, but already nearly 1,300 miles because he drives his cars properly. And then down here, we've got all of the climate control all on a separate screen. It's hard to describe. I hope it comes off on camera that the quality and sort of the definition that are on these screens are absolutely amazing. So all the different driving modes, Strata Sport, Corsa, this is sand, earth, and snow. Um, so you kind of flick through with this. You've got your Ego panel right here where you can do your steering, your suspension, and then obviously your gear selector in the middle. And the classic Lamborghini start stop. Got all the Lamborghini trademarks, like the little Lamborghini logo here, chromed out, the similarly shaped air vents, uh, which go with the, the sort of honeycomb design, like in the SV or Hurricanes or anything like that. And you can see even down here, the big Bang & Olufsen with the sort of wide design, like in the Aventador's, very Lamborghini that. And then as soon as you want to have some good times, this car's got plenty of power. Oh, oh it's insane, we're on an Alpine road in a massive 4x4 and this thing it hardly has any body roll 650 horsepower twin turbo but instant power you can just feel it double clutch gearbox instant as well i mean you should not be able to do this in a 4x4 which can just go in any terrain as well it really doesn't sound twin turbo either Yeah, it sounds quite naturally aspirated. You can't really tell. The pops are amazing. Oh, and it's seriously quick. I came down here in the Panamera GTS, and this is just another level. I mean, they've just done a really good finish. Oh, it's got this huge sunroof. Look at that. That's massive. And in the back, plenty of space. This one's got the screens in the back as well. I've got three different massage modes. Oh, no, more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven different massage modes. Oh, and then the intensity there as well. Wow, I've got it on intensity number three right now, and it certainly is quite intensive. You can feel it. Just getting a massage in a 4x4 while three race up a mountain. It's still to be tested off-road, but I mean, so far on a mountain road, it does it really nice. And we drove around Monaco a bit coming here, and it was fantastic. So that was the drive up. Before we end up going on a drive with all this lot, and I'll show you all these specs because the colors are beautiful, let me just show you around the Urus quickly because it is such a beast. It's based, as you guys know, on a platform which has been used many times before, but twin turbo V8, 650 horsepower. This one's got absolutely massive rims and huge brake calipers. From the front, it just has this beastly look. And for a four x four, I just think it's the dream. With the limo tints on this one as well, Rand has finished it super, super nicely. Matching color to the Aventador SV. In the back, plenty of space. So if you've got a family, very practical car. I mean, it is pretty ludicrous to be able to call a Lamborghini a family car, but it is actually very practical. Look, the boot is absolutely massive as well. So you've got plenty of room in the back and everything has this Lamborghini touch. Alcantara boot hider with contrast stitching it is awesome. All electric, obviously, so you can just close that up. So let's start with this first Performante then in Verde Hermes, ad personum color. Absolutely gorgeous with the Italian flag down the side and then the sport seats with the contrast green stitching and stripe. It's got all of the forged composite carbon fiber on the paddles and all down the center console as well. Beautiful car. It's got the gloss forged carbon on the outside, on the wing and on the diffuser. We then got this blue car as well, an ad personum color, but we don't know the exact color name, but it looks beautiful. And then another green 
Aurican Spider this time, brand new. This one, Verde Hydra. Absolutely gorgeous. Oh, that startup. It's got the gloss carbon as well. Oh, that looks good. Anyway, so we're getting in the cars. We're going for a drive. I've got the key of the Urus. That is quite the rearview mirror sight right there. That's somewhere in Monaco for you. We were just going to film a video on the Urus. Literally, they saw us, called us, came to meet us, and they're going for about an hour's drive, but we need to be back in Monaco not too long. So we're going to cruise with them for about 10, 15 minutes and then head back. And I'm actually going to get the opportunity to drive this Urus. So stay tuned in the video if you want to see that in a tiny bit. Uh-oh. That's not for us. That's good news. Beautiful Vanquish right there. That's still such a good looking car. Sounds so good. This is a true test of the Urus. Can we keep up with three performances? This is one of those. Don't try this at home. Don't try and keep up with supercars in your 4x4 because unless you've got an Urus, most likely not going to work. Massive carbon ceramics on this thing, so it stops like crazy. Look at this. Off he goes. And we're right behind him. He's not losing us. So the title of this video, Can the Urus Keep Up With a Performante? The answer so far is yes, he's right there. And he is on it. But we are right behind them. He is not losing us. Even coming out of the corners, we're managing to stay with him. Oh, we're right behind. This is insane. And Performantes are such quick cars. Can you see the glowing? I don't know if you can see it, but... Oh, off he goes. Off they go. It's that time, guys. Time for me to take the wheel of this beast. Here we go. This is what it looks like. Gonna hand run of the camera. Now then, guys, I'm gonna put my seatbelt down like this. And there is actually a reason for that, because it also rubs against the microphone and it's unpleasant for you guys. So before you start commenting, there is method behind the madness. So then you press up on the paddle and then you're good to go. Let's let these people pass. Lamborghini Urus, we're in Corsa mode. You feel so much shaking like you do in other Lambos through the steering wheel. And these paddles actually feel so cool. Really sort of metallic, nice and cold. God. Okay, I'm gonna try and give you like first impressions as I'm driving just now and then we'll switch the camera off. I'll drive it for a bit and then come back and give you final impressions. I mean, it feels big, that's for sure. You can tell that it's a big car, but it kind of wraps around you. We're driving on some tiny little roads. The suspension's quite hard and the steering is very precise, but it is a bit dead feeling, but you can definitely place the car where you want to place it. So much, so many vibrations coming through the steering wheel and the pedals actually. You can feel that there's plenty of power. They've definitely engineered a little bit of a kick into the gear shift in Corsa mode. You can really feel that. And the engine, no turbo lag, very, very direct. As soon as you put your foot down, it goes. This steering wheel feels lovely finished in Alcantara. I got a really nice head up display in front of me. Double clutch gearbox. Very, very quick, everything you want as far as that's concerned. Apart from how high you are, you do not feel like you're in a, uh, a 4x4. The feel of it, it feels like a sports car. You're just very high. But it really, it's, a, it's an odd feeling because I really feel like I'm driving a sports car, not a 4x4. There's hardly any body roll and just you can't really feel the weight in the acceleration that much. You can feel it more under braking, if anything. When the acceleration, you put your foot down, just drop it all the way down into first. You just accelerate. Oh, it's brutal. I can see Rana struggling to hold the camera there. It is really brutal. Wow. Okay, I've got to switch the camera off now and then I'll report back in a few minutes and tell you what I think. 20 minutes later. You join back up with us now. I've been driving it for a little bit and I am seriously impressed. I was, you know, part of the gang at first, which was kind of hating on this for it coming from Audi and coming from the same sort of basis as the other cars, but it is so different to any other 4x4 I've driven. I've driven Cayenne turbos, but this just takes that ethos to the next level. And 
I've tried it out in Strada, I've tried in Sport, in Strada it's so compliant, comfortable, quiet, the automatic gearbox is smooth, as soon as you whack it into course it just becomes this beast, everything changes in front of you and it sounds incredible, the crackles when you lift off, they're just fantastic and it's the 4x4 and this is saying something because most of the times 4x4s don't have any character, it's a 4x4 which has a personality and that is something which I think is very, very hard to achieve, especially when you're coming off the basis of a platform used for other cars. But they've somehow managed to add that Lamborghini magic into it. And the lack of body roll is incredible. And it's little things like adding the kick when you change gear, um, having the steering which is hard and covered in Alcantara. These things have just added so much character to the car. Let's try a little acceleration here. Guys ready, first gear. Straight away we're behind people. The brakes also, carbon ceramics, they don't feel dead. You can feel what's going on and man do they work. They brake seriously hard and they are massive because to stop this car, they need to be. But yeah, the steering is the probably the only thing which I would say is, is slightly dead feeling, but you know, you're gonna have a payoff somewhere in order to have the practicality. Can it keep up with a Hurricane Performante? Yes, it can. Can it put a smile on my face while I'm driving it? Yes, it can. That's the Lamborghini Urus. What a car. We're back at Casino Square now and the car's getting parked up behind me, the Urus. What a drive. We've got Rana's Aventador SV and then GTC4 Lusso T behind as well. That was fantastic. This car is a total, total beast. I loved it. As always, if you want more videos like this, please remember to subscribe, hit the thumbs up button. That was epic. Plenty more coming very soon. Cheers, guys. Bye-bye. Hey. Let's go. Bet. Yo, once again,